Welcome to the Sean Lowry Show. This is episode 29, and I'm talking about one of the greats. There was a tragedy over this past week. Kobe Bryant died in a plane crash, a helicopter crash. And I know everyone's talking about Kobe, and you know what? It's not like I knew the guy personally. I don't have a story about when me and Kobe Bryant hung out, but I don't care. I want to talk about him. I can't stop thinking about it. I can't stop thinking about it. I want to give Kobe the respect that he deserves. And my takeaway from this, the reason that Kobe is so close to my heart, and when a legend dies, an American icon, everyone can put their own thoughts and project on it. And this is the way I project on Kobe Bryant. It's because he was such an intense person. And he's obviously loved right now. You know, he's a loving father for sure. I don't think he deserves that much credit for loving his kids. But obviously, he was a great personality, a good person. And he was loved, especially in Los Angeles, where he brought the city championships and everyone got to watch him play, which was a pleasure. But Kobe was an asshole. He was an assassin. He was a killer. He had a level of intensity that was off the charts and was insane. Shaq couldn't play with him. Dwight Howard couldn't play with him. He had unrealistic expectations of others because he had those unrealistic expectations on himself. And jeez, he met those expectations. His intensity is something that only the greats have. And I get it. I mean, more often than not, my intensity isn't welcomed. And that's just me. Imagine Kobe Bryant. And and I know this, and I've always known this. And someone like Kobe is somebody who embodies this message. And not everyone's going to be talking about this, but you have to be insane to accomplish great things in this world. The Steve Jobs, the Kobe Bryants, and I know that. And anytime someone tells me to relax or stop working so hard, my mom, Shelby's dad, they always say, take a break, relax. Why are you working so hard? And I think of Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, Mark Cuban, these people. The common thread between so many of the greats of all time is their intensity and their work ethic. And guess what? People honor that at the end of your life. People who accomplish great things leave great legacies. But on a day-to-day basis, those people aren't the best to be around. They're intense. And people don't like being around intense people on a day-to-day basis. So going forward in the future, I plan on working harder than ever. And anytime someone tells me to relax or stop working so hard, I'm going to think of the great Kobe Bryant who said, never waste a day. I'm going to keep the Mamba mentality alive. When I'm working late at the night, late at the office, like I was last night until about 1 a.m. Or I wake up at 5 a.m. for going to the gym. When I'm doing things that are so intense that normal people think they're crazy, when I need to justify it, I'm going to think of Kobe Bryant. And it worked out for him. His legacy will live on forever. He's a legend. He's an American icon. So that's my takeaway from Kobe Bryant. It's okay to be intense. It'll pay off when you're dead, when your story's being told over generations. That's why I work so hard. That's why intensity matters. And that is my projection and takeaway from this tragic death of Kobe Bryant. This is the saddest celebrity death of my lifetime. He's the last person I would expect to die early. Seeing the whole world come to a momentary stop, it was special. It was kind of uniting. I thought when Shelby told me that she was pranking me. And Shelby isn't much of a prankster. She came in, she's like, you hear Kobe Bryant died? So I went to ESPN.com and I didn't see the story. And I stopped what I was doing and I walked in and I said, what are you, were you pranking me? I don't believe you. And I went to Twitter, and Twitter's the best place to go when there's news, and all of a sudden, you started to see everyone start tweeting about it, everybody. I was looking through some of the celebrity deaths that have happened over the past 10, 20, 30, 40 years. This is the biggest celebrity death since Princess Diana in 1997, so 23 years. And there's been some other tragic deaths, but I mean, people who lived a long life and died of old age, that's not as sad. And also people with suicide and overdosing on drugs. That is a different level. And Kobe Bryant, this was a tragic accident, and his daughter was with him. So just a little moment of history here that we'll never forget. And this is why I love having a podcast. In real time, I get to come in here, 
and talk about something that's just happening in the world. And everyone is still in astonishment right now. Everyone's still grieving. This is still going on. It's been about three, four days, but I think there'll probably be some type of funeral procession throughout LA. The city needs to heal. My mom's actually in Los Angeles right now visiting family. She said the whole skyline's purple and gold. She said all the roadways have Kobe Bryant posters everywhere, paintings. This is a moment of history that we'll never forget. And Kobe, thank you. Thank you for everything you've done. I can't say that I had his poster on my wall. I always debated about the guy, loved talking about the guy. Definitely considered him one of the greats because of his intensity. But the one thing that I can say that I was truly a fan of, besides for the picture I drew of him when I was 13 years old, is that the song Lil Wayne did called Kobe Bryant, it came out after his fourth championship. I listened to this song so many times. I listened to it before my fraternity basketball games. I listened to it partying. I listened to it in the car. This song is one of the reasons I started to love Kobe Bryant. So I'm just going to end this podcast because I don't have much more to add to the story with this amazing song about Kobe Bryant. And just hug your loved ones. And Kobe, thanks for everything. I want to be the best. I want to be the best. And that's why I play the game. To be the best, you have to win. And that's what drives me. Drives me. Drives me. He's the best player in the game. It's just that simple. There's nothing that Kobe Bryant can't do. He will defend your best player. He will shoot from the perimeter. He will get all in your mouth. He will do whatever it takes. He is the most complete basketball player in the game today, bar none. He has an assassin's mentality. I said this week, I said this when the trade went down, and I'll repeat it again. Who's starving for an NBA World Championship more than Kobe Bryant? There is no... No Robert 
story, not break them off, Kobe break them off, yeah, you better be where the liquor down, yeah, just give him the ball and he take it off, yeah, oh, he properly dishing it to the south, yeah, I'll give it to these fish on the wing, yeah, I'll just let it hurt these do his thing, yeah, cause I'm great and so is my team, yeah, this is so uh, kind of do it for magic, it's showtime, baby. I see nothing wrong with doing it full time, baby. I'm the best, yes, and he the best, yeah. Don't worry, I'm grind, give me next year. Now what's defense to an assassin? Kill an instinct, murder the basket. They steal the ball back, hold it for ransom. It's more than a game, this is a passion. Been the all-star, been the champion. Free throw line.